I first came here in 1968 and with a, apart from a five-year gap I've been here ever since. When I came for my interview my predecessor but two as professor of actors, I'm Professor David Keith Lucas, greeted me in 1968 with, with saying well before we start this interview feeling I've got to say you're, you're a borderline case. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that sort of sticks in the mind. <laughs> In between Lanchester Hall and, and East Block in Lanchester Hall, there is a, there was is now a, 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 a basin, but there was a pond with koi carp and stuff in there. And usually after the end of the night, uh, a lot of the uh, people had maybe had a few too many drinks. They decided it was really quite a good thing to get a student by his hands and feet and throw him into the pond. That was ponding. And I lived in East Block, so I could hear the hubbub of the ponding ap ap approaching. It was a fun time actually. I uh, worked very hard. I was also um, doing aircraft design. I flew in aeroplanes, so I did a bit of hand, uh, flying training myself, but also did flight test work in a jet aeroplane. There were four of us in this jet aeroplane, call them uh, a Paris. Uh, and a couple of things about that was that uh, we had to wear oxygen masks because we were going high altitude, and it was, it was a bit like a military aeroplane, and four of us, two in the front, two in the back. And we found out later that all the four oxygen masks went to a common point and on other flights, not mine fortunately, one of the students had been sick and everybody got it. Uh, but that was not what, what happened on mine fortunately. But we, Ron Wingrove, our chief test pilot at the time, took great delight in frightening us before we went out to fly, giving us all the safety instructions. So he was saying, well what we have to do is we had to have two harnesses and an oxygen mask and an and a, and a, 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 a intercom. So we had two harnesses each with a, a quick release box on the chest and uh, he said if I shout abandon aircraft if you hear it the second time it'll be an echo because I'll have gone and he said we have to stand on the side of the cockpit combing and push ourselves out sideways if we went too low down we were going to the jet intake if we went too high we'd be cut in half by the high T tail then when you have to count ten and then pull the parachute so fortunately we didn't have to do that Basically, if you got a Cranfield degree, you had it made in the aeronautical industry, and that was, that was the case then, and it is to a case now. I grew technically, emotionally, spiritually whilst I was here. I can't imagine my life being anything like the same if I hadn't come here. It was, it was a fundamental time in my life. I, I learned a huge amount, obviously, about aircraft design, but also confidence, and it, it really set me up. I never learned as, I tell the students now, I never learned as much in a year as I did here doing the MSc in aircraft design. Mm -hmm. 